Welcome to the video tutorial series on modding simple planes. This is part two of the custom parts tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be creating a custom part that renders a colored trail behind the part. To do this, we'll be creating a custom part based off the VTOL nozzle part. So we go to simple planes, game objects, part. We call this trail emitter. If we look at this in the inspector, we're going to look for the VTOL nozzle and say clone existing part. Since we don't actually want it to behave anything like the existing VTOL nozzle, I'm going to remove these part modifiers. Okay, let's give it a name. We'll call it Trail Emitter. And instead of the category propulsion, we're going to put it in the gizmos category. Now we should have our part, but it's not actually going to do anything. What we want is a custom modifier script. So I'm going to come over here under add modifiers. I'm going to select create new. I'm going to click add. Let's give it a name. Let's put it in a parts folder for organization here. We'll call it trail emitter. That pop-up asked me if I wanted to create a behavior script as well. I said yes. Okay, now that our scripts are created, I'm going to jump over to Visual Studio and look at what we got. There's three scripts here. Now this first script here, this part modifier script, is solely for the editor. It's not important. We don't need to worry about it. Now this trail emitter script here inherits from jundru.simpleplanes.modtools.parts.partmodifier. It kind of represents the part modifier. It is responsible for initializing the modifier whenever the part is loaded, uh, saving and restoring state. It also contains all the configuration data kind of related to that part modifier. The trail emitter behavior here inherits from gendru.simpleplanes.modtools.parts.partmodifier behavior. Behavior is the actual component that gets added to the game object that actually is responsible for modifying how the part behaves. Let's jump back to the part modifier for a second. For this particular tutorial, we don't need to change anything here, but let's take a look at the initialize method. In the initialize method here, we got some boilerplate code that's going to attach the behavior script to the root object for the part, and then it's going to return that behavior. This is usually fine, but if you wanted to do anything different, let's say attach the behavior script to a child object of the part, this is where you'd do it. Now back to the behavior script. This is where the fun happens. Let's create ourselves a start method here. Now I know with the VTOL nozzle, there's going to be a particle system that's going to run that we don't actually want to run for this particular part. So what I'm going to do is just destroy that whenever we first start out. And now what we want to do is add the actual trail renderer object. However, we only want to add this if we're not viewing the plane in the designer. Um, so to get that information, we need to hit the service provider. Unfortunately, we have not added one yet, so let's jump back to Unity here. Go to Simple Planes, Assets, and say Service Provider Script. Okay, let's jump back to Visual Studio, reload the project here. And now we can say if service provider dot instance dot game state dot is in designer I want to say if it's not in the designer we're going to add this object before we can do this though we need to actually create this object and save it in our mod so let's jump back to unity for a second what I'm going to do is create a new object we're going to call this trail render object and we're going to add a trail renderer component. Okay, let's tweak some values on here for a second. Let's make it last 10 seconds. Uh, for the colors, let's go with red. We'll kind of fade it out. Okay. 
Also, for materials, I believe what we want is the sprite default. And one last thing, I want to change the start width to 0.15 and the end width to 5. Okay, let's try loading this thing up. So we're going to hit our service provider and load the game object. Okay. Once it's loaded, we want to parent it to this particular part object. And we also want to zero out its local position. Okay, let's give this a shot and see if it actually worked. Let's jump back to Unity. Go to our mod builder here. We want to select the trail renderer object and our trail emitter. Make sure we save those. So you can see our new part saved in the mod, as well as our trail renderer object is saved. Save the mod itself. Okay, let's fire up Simple Planes and see if it worked. I go to Gizmos here. You can see the trail emitter is there. Let's just attach it to the jet engines here and jump in the game. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.